The reading today is Mark 4, 35-41. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. This is the word of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will, uh, in this short devotion, show us that even though we go through the storms of life, you are there with us, even though you might be asleep on the stone stern of the boat. Um, may the words of my mouth, meditation of our hearts, be acceptable to you, our Lord, our Rock, and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name do we pray, and the people say it, Amen. So, Jesus is on that boat by the lake with his disciples, and he has just finished a huge Sunday school class to the adults and the children by the seaside. He has taught parables to the crowds, and he has shared the parable of the sower, the parable of the seed, and the parable of the mustard seed. After teaching for that day, uh, Jesus gets into the boat with his disciples, with his disciples to go to the other side of Lake Galilee. Now, it's been a long day for Jesus, so he falls asleep on the, sto- on the stern. Suddenly, a squall occurs, a windstorm comes. Peter, Andrew, James, and John are seasoned fishermen, so they're used to a lot of storms of Lake Galilee. But even, even they get worried. The waves break over the boat, and the boat is nearly swamped. And what is Jesus doing through this storm? He is asleep at the stern of the boat. There is a storm nearly drowning the boat. And Jesus is asleep on the boat. And I wondered if this is a metaphor that happens in real life too. Jesus is in the boat with us, but he is asleep asleep on the stern. And we are nearly drowning. And the waves are breaking over the boat. And the boat is about to go down. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. His disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Mark 4 verse 38. And we also say the same thing in our prayers as we experience that huge storm in our lives. Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Teacher, we are running out of money. Don't you care if we drown? Teacher, I have this big illness. Don't you care if we drown? Teacher, my family is breaking apart. Don't you care if we drown? Teacher, life at work is so difficult with this boss. Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. So Jesus gets up, He says to the waves, quiet, be still. And the wind and the waves die down. Who is this? Even the wind and the waves 
obey Jesus. Today we have come to an annual celebration uh, of the Sunday school and the youth. And they have learned many things uh, at Sunday school and at youth and at chaos in the past year. It was great. And I remember graduating from many a Sunday school when I was their age. As Mark writes this gospel, I believe that he deliberately puts this Lake Galilee incident just after Jesus teaches about the parable of the sower. And you will recall in the parable of the sower, uh, he talks about seeds that are productive 100 times compared to the seeds eaten by the birds, compared to the seeds falling on rocky ground, compared to the seeds sown among the thorns. And then he has this uh, drowning boat incident. So it is as if Mark is saying, you know, uh, do you want to be a productive seed? Uh, it is one thing to learn something at Sunday school, at youth, or on a Sunday worship gathering. But when the storms of life come, can we really trust Jesus? And sometimes as we go on through these storms of life, uh, Jesus looks like he's asleep at the stern. You cry out to him, and he's asleep. And you say to him, you try to wake him up, the storm is drowning us. Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Can we trust Jesus then? So I say to you, graduating class, and I say to all of us here, we come here on a Sunday morning, we learn about God, and it's all good. But when the storms of life come, can what we have learned at Sunday school or at the Sunday worship gathering help us through the storm? Can we trust Jesus even though he might be asleep at the stern? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. The disciples that they came to understand that Jesus was not only a rabbi, he was the Lord of creation. And I hoped they learned that even when the going got rough and the storms were overpowering the boat, Jesus, who was asleep at the stern, still had things in control. And maybe it took a long time for them to say, say this, but even then, at the end of the day, they said, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. 